Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Dave Neal here, breaking Bachelor news. We have a new host, uh, or actually, should I say, we have new hosts of this upcoming season of The Bachelorette. First of all, it is not Khloe Kardashian. She is my red herring image to throw you off the scent for those that don't want to be spoiled right away. If you don't want any spoilers, you got to go. You got to get out of this video. We're talking the next Bachelorette, and we're talking it right now. The next Bachelorette uh, that is starting starting quarantining today is Katie Thurston hashtag Thurston for Thurston there she is ready to meet her man let's see if the guys can keep up and reality Steve just broke the news just 20 minutes ago which by the way right before I show this I'll tell you this is a traditional Friday afternoon news dump I said this about an hour ago in the co in the comment section that it was feeling eerily quiet in the bachelor community and I wouldn't be surprised if some crazy news came out on a Friday afternoon sure enough the Friday news dump which is the releasing of bad news or documents on a Friday afternoon in an attempt to avoid media scrutiny is often called a Friday news dump. I wouldn't call this bad news at all, but it's controversial to say the least. We know that because plenty of people did not want Chris Harrison to be canceled. They wanted him to remain the host, whereas he said he was stepping aside. I don't believe this was Chris Harrison's decision to, uh, to step aside for the whole season, but what we know is this posting reality, Steve, says Tasha Adams and Caitlin Bristow. They're your new co-hosts for Katie's Bachelorette season. Everyone is currently quarantining in New Mexico. Katie, the men, the co-hosts, and production. And filming begins late next week at the Hyatt Tamaya, just outside Albuquerque, New Mexico. There you have it, folks. That is some big news. 2021 is switching it up right now. Two female co-hosts. We've got a Canadian by the name of Caitlin Bristow. And we have a Tasha Adams representing the great... State of California, not bad at all. Now let's go over to Caitlin's page here. We got Caitlin Bristow. We love Caitlin. You gotta love Caitlin. Sex positive, way ahead of her time. She is gonna be a perfect companion to Katie Thurston. I mean, really perfect companion. As you know, Caitlin Bristow, uh, you know, went through a lot on her season um, of The Bachelor, and then as The Bachelorette, she went through a lot. She had um, she had sex with a contestant before the fantasy suites. Oh no, what can you do? Listen, when you live in the United States of America, you don't need to wait for no fantasy suite to have sex. You want to bump that Harrison, you do it on your own clock, okay? So welcome to the U.S. there, Caitlin. She uh, posted an Instagram story which made people wonder if she was going to be the next um, host. She posted going into quarantine, and then there's a nice photo of her. Uh, very classy. I like that. A nice little cross I Don't hate the cross-eyed people here. And then I see you, and then let's see what she said here. Let's see. Hold on. Let me go back here and play the music. Make sure it's nothing too loud. Let's do it. This is harder to do that. Listen up. It's right around the corner from daylight savings time. Spring has sprung, my good friends. So where is she? And I could not be more excited. Girlfriend needs some steady sunshine in her life. Sunshine's in New Mexico. my spray tan subscription because it's going to be the real deal out here. And you know who loves sun and the, the good weather is the boys. Are you taking I the mean, boys? Love anything as long as so where is she? She doesn't look like she's in a hotel. Where is she? Oh, right. I know why I came on here because I'm bored. Quarantining. I've been feeling lately like I have nothing to bring to the table on stories, which I don't. You're about and to. It makes me feel bad because. Hi, bud. Come on. Up. Because I like to entertain. All right, she's got a pot. Where is she? She's got these nice wooden walled places. Is she in New Mexico? Whoa, whoa, whoa. hold up, Pino. Did you hear the news? J Lo and A Rod broke up. Why is this one sad to me? Oh, they broke up. That's too bad. We'll report on that is later. It because he was a huge douchebag. <laughs> All right, truth or dare with Jason. Why are you in quarantine? Because I get to finally hang with some people. Ah, oh, there she is. She knew the news was coming out. Oh, I lost that last one. Let me go back to it. And then we're going to cut over here to the other big news. Why are you in quarantine? Yes, laminated. Uh, uh, do you laminate your eyebrows? What does that even mean? Man, it must be so complicated to be a woman. You got to laminate your eyebrows. You're just doing office terms on your eyebrows. First, you got to Xerox copy your uh, foundation onto your nose. You got to laminate your eyebrows, three hole punch your belly buttons. It ain't easy being a lady. You know what I did? I rolled out of bed, I turned the mics on, and I'm talking to you guys. 
That's what it's like being a man. Oh, it's so easy being a man. The standards you guys set. Well, look, you guys did it to yourself. We'll like you with no makeup. I promise you that. I do. All right. Let's, I digress. So here we have it. The question is going to be, does Jason Tartik, is it Tartik or Tartrick? Does Jason accompany Caitlin in New Mexico? And if so, does Zach Clark become bros with Jason? And do they somehow become bus boys? I think this would be a great idea if they just both, no dialogue, no mention of it, but they just become bus boys at all the group dates where they just like, they'll start, they'll hand out garlic bread to the dinner date and they'll just go away. And you'll be like, is that Zach? And then you'll just see like some guy just like holding the boom poles. Is that Jason? I think we need to make this a whole family affair. Now, as we know, some of the more successful couples. Now, of course, Jason uh, was on, uh, now correct me if I'm wrong, was Jason on Becca Kufrin's season, who now has bangs? Big news, big news in the Bachelor community that Becca Kufrin has bangs. We like to break the news. Uh, but anyhow, he uh, he was a fan favorite and um, somehow got canoodling with Caitlin Bristow. She, of course, uh, had her man, Sean, they just couldn't overcome the fact that she, uh, you know, uh, bumped Harrison's with Nick Vile, gave him the old clam casino. And it's like, look, I mean, why do we know all this drama? You know, if this was just normal life, we wouldn't know about these people, but these, uh, seem like fantastic guys, Jason Tarjik. If you could ever trust a guy with nice hair, it's Jason and myself. I mean, come on. We're actually, he's got a nice jacket on too. We think we'd be good, uh, good buddies out there. All right. I digress. And then of course, Zach, uh, he, uh, just in the uh, latest season, of uh, Tasha Adams was the uh, the man who was uh, hanging around at the end, and they're engaged, doing their thing. We see a little Neil Lane rock right there, and of course Claire and Dale are back together. So what is love, baby? Don't hurt me, don't hurt me, no more. There is a lot of love in Bachelor Nation, unfortunately. Not so much for Chris Harrison right now. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to be doing, whenever there's breaking news, I like to do a special video. I will be playing your voicemails. 401-213-9828. 401-213-9828. Keep them under a minute or I'm not going to play it. If you go a minute or one, I can't play it. Keep it tight. I'll play all your voicemails either tonight or tomorrow. So de- definitely get your voicemails in. Let's probably call it tomorrow. It depends. It depends how many people call in. But very fascinating news. This is the biggest news, I think, of the year. Chris Harrison is the one or has been the one fixture in Bachelor Nation since the beginning. Now, the question is, as Katie had mentioned, she thinks... This is where it got interesting. This post came out last night. Now, obviously, Katie knows more than we know. She's over there in New Mexico. She posted, I stand with other alumni who have expressed that learning and growth require time. I hope that Chris Harrison continues to take more time to step away while sincerely educating himself and dedicating himself to the work. We can all grow and do better with time, and I hope he does. So I think the strategy here, if you're Chris Harrison, is don't pretend like you fought this. Just say, you know what? That's right. I'm going to take the season off. I'm going to educate myself this and that. But actually do it. Take people along for the ride. Have conversations. Tough ones. Podcasts. Talk to people. Educate yourself. I think that's a great idea. When Katie posted this last night, I was like, geez. Because I was like, man, imagine if Chris Harrison doesn't leave. Then this was a weird post. But obviously, Katie knew something that we didn't. And um, I'm sure this was uh, sort of... I know. I, no, don't get me wrong. I believe everything she says. I don't think she would post this if she didn't believe it, but I'm sure with the permission of the bachelor producers, like, all right, let's get our new bachelorette to kind of make her statement. Well, we're going to soft introduce the new host. You know, it's kind of a work in progress. Again, this is all spoilers because Monday night is the big night. So much information has come out. I mean, it's like, can they just keep a secret over there in New Mexico? No, they can't. They cannot keep a secret. So we know all of this. And um, I mean, I guess the question is going to be, Katie, what are you doing with yourself in New Mexico besides uh, packing a couple extra MJs? I mean, what, you know, if, if I were the bachelorette, bachelorette, which I'm not, I would be doing a lot of planks because God knows they put you in some small dresses out there. I know the guys are all doing push-ups and everything. That's the problem. Is if you're The best part about quarantining is just eating food you shouldn't be eating elsewhere. But if you're quarantining right before you go on a TV show where you got to play like a uh, new dodgeball with everybody, you don't want to look at the bread rolls. But anyhow, let's go to Tasha and let's see what let's see if we have any info on Tasha here because we know Tasha uh, like she goes she's a Tasha she's a superstar right? Let's see what she's post today. She, she anything here? This was yesterday. Your girl is tired. Well, are you tired because you're driving to New Mexico? Let's see what she says here. I, I told you guys yesterday the flowers are coming out. The weather is warming up, and also my clothes are starting to change. I have all right. Good and you guys. 
So this was yesterday. Oh, this is nice. I'm not going to post a video because uh, I can't post the audio. She's doing the old Carlton dance. Damn, 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 damn. Jump on it, jump on it, jump on it. Do, 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 jump on it. Okay, good enough. What's this? It's still yesterday. I want info from today. She posted five hours ago. Breakfast. Is she in a hotel? You know when it's a close-up shot that they're probably somewhere they shouldn't be. What's this? Very cute. All right, so we don't have anything from Tasha. We'll keep an eye on it, folks. But for right now, all we know is what Reality Steve posted. Let's refresh this to see if there's any uh, verified people in the comments section. While I love both those people as contestants, I just know they will suck as hosts. Surely it's not that hard to find a professional. No, I completely disagree. It's we're not we're not uh, rocket scientists here. We're, we're not trying to send men to Mars. Okay, you just got to hand the girl a couple of roses and say don't strike out. I mean, what kind of thing are we talking about? Uh, they're not going to suck at the job. They're going to be great. Uh, Tasha. And Caitlin are some of the most likable people. The only issue is that they're going to steal the show from Katie, and they won't because Katie's a strong personality. We've got the real trifecta of ladies happening right now. Katie, we got the Canadian, and we got Tasha. We got the Pacific Northwest. We got all, all of North America covered. Not watching. The cancel culture needs to stop. Okay, thank you, Darlene. You know what I mean? Darlene with her one follower won't watch. I don't know about ABC will survive now. I love the comments to that. All right, Darlene, good for you. I mean, look, I mean, honestly, I love I mean, I get tons of comments from people that go, I'm not going to watch now. It's like, yeah, you will, Monica. You're going to watch because you're going to want to know what to talk about the next day at the office. And everyone's like, did you see Katie's outfit? You love to watch it. You hate to watch it. We're all watching it. Rich said, Chris Harrison's not needed. Now, look, I like Chris Harrison, but sometimes you like a nice glass of milk, not because you enjoy milk. Maybe you're lactose intolerant. You just grew up on milk, so you like milk. One day, you try the great, uh, crisp, refreshing diet, Dr. Pepper, and you go, why did I never have this before? Established 1885. Can you imagine? Can you imagine in 1885, someone's like, "Here, try this." Oh, thank you, Dr. Pepper. And you're like, "Wow, this is actually really good." Have a feeling this is the beginning of the end for the series. I hope not. Chris Harrison is. Uh, if Chris Harrison doesn't come back ever, they could keep rotating former leads like this. I wonder if he will be still pulling strings behind the scenes, or if lower level producers already know the drill. I think it's a good idea. I think it's a good idea to bring back past contestants that are successful, that everyone loves, fan favorites. You're reaching different markets. They've they've each got their own like social media platform, which is really good i mean no offense to chris harrison but he is kind of like uh he's a little bit of an older guy and i know everyone loves him but you know there's plenty of stories to be told out there i do want a redemption story i do love a story of a comeback kid and i hope chris harrison can be that but it's his uh it's the balls in his court with what he does and what actions he takes the question is will he come back for michelle's season this fall i mean a lot going on he's out there golfing what's lauren zima gonna do what's she gonna say i look forward to hearing everyone comment ever to hearing everyone's comment comments. I look forward forward to hearing what uh, Rachel Lindsay has to say about all this. So much to talk about, so much to do. So what's wrong with being an all-star? Is that how it goes? I don't think so. All right, folks, I tried my best. It's a Friday afternoon. Time to crack open a nice cold Simpler Times Trader Joe's Lager. In the meantime, leave a comment. Hit the voicemail, 401-213-9828. Let me know what you think about Caitlin Bristow. Let me know what you think about Tasha. Let me know what you think about Katie. And what kind of guys are going to even get a word in with these three chatty broads. We love these ladies. We're looking forward to it. Leave a comment. Don't forget, in the comments, in the comment section, my pinned comment, click the link if you want to join my mailing list. I'm going to be sending out merchandise on Monday or Tuesday. It's brand new merchandise for the upcoming season that we have that's just for our community. And I'm going to be releasing tour dates for when the world opens back up, a bachelor-themed stand-up tour all over the country. So get on that uh, email list. It's free, and I will see you guys in a little bit. See you in the comment section. Goodbye, everybody. Weird year.